yeah, number of moles of sodium carbonate. So here we're given the mass. So we must get the number of moles, which will be given by by n is equals to m mass. Yeah, mass over molar mass. So the mass is 0 0.29 gram. It will be 0 0.29 gram divided by molar mass of sodium bicarbonate is um, 106 gram per mole, which is equals to, just use the calculator there, you will get 2.74 multiplied by 10 to the power negative 3 mole. Mole of, remember, this is the mole of sodium carbonate okay sodium carbonate yeah so now we we got the amount of number of so here we can use a, a ratio we can come and use a ratio ratio rule okay we call it um, a ratio rule which means that the number of moles n of um, hcl yeah, of course, it will be equal to the the moles of sodium carbonate multiplied by two. Yeah. So here I've got um, HCl. Which is equal to two multiplied by two, seven four multiplied by ten to the power negative three mole, which will give you. Which is equal to 5.47 times 10 to the power negative 3 mole. This is the mole for XCL, right? For the diluted one. So now we can get the, the concentration. We can get the conch, you know, we call it conch in short. We can get the conch of, this is the conch. You know, this is the conch of XCL diluted, which is equal to n over n over v. So the n will be this one, and then the volume will be the the fifty. You know, the one which has got um, which reacted during the reaction. And remember to convert this fifty centimeter cube. You know, everything to dm three which will be 0 0.05. And then um, we should get um, 0 0.1094 mole per dm3. So now here we can remember that here inside we've got 500 centimeter cube, right? So we want to determine the concentration, the concentrated, right, HCL. So now we use a dilution, we call it a dilution line. We use a dilution line. Yes, which is N of dilution is equal to N of concentrated. This N, you know, this is a number of moles. So the number of moles, so the amount of substance will remain constant, but the only, only the volume, like when you pour the five centimeter cube, only the volume will change, but the amount of substance of the number of moles will remain the same. Okay, now we know that um, N is equal to C, so it will be C1, V1, which was to C2, V2, right? And now we, we this one does it for the dilution, and then on the other right, they are for concentrated. We know that C1 is 0. Point uh, here I've got um, 0 0.1094, yeah, this one, multiply by 500, the total here of the distilled water is 500, which is equal to C2, multiply by the volume, the one which is transferred from the original sample, you know, the position of the original sample is 
five. So here we can just put them without converting because V and V V one and V two will cancel out. And then this um, will equal to fifty four. Point seven, which was to say to multiply by five. So now you can divide both sides by five, and then you get C two is equals to which was to ten times ten, ten times ten comma nine four mol dm cube, All right? And that will be the concentration of the concentrated original, you know, hydrochloric acid.